No. Kevin's playing. Therefore, we're going to see some. You, you got a phone call? No, I'm, no, I'm texting something. Oh, okay. That's my sending screen. My phone. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. The frame rate. What the fuck? Did it? Yeah, it's, it's, look at it. It's quite cool. No, it's, it's just the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> how, how, do, how do you tag them? Yeah, yeah L, LT. While you're in yeah, that mode. LT. Yeah. Okay. I've got it. Oh, throw. throw. There you go. But now you've got to deal with them both separately. I just throw it like randomly, like when you're attacking them like that. <laughs> it told you B action. I know. I'll Baction that stuff. Baction it. Baction. <laughs> Lights, camera, baction. <laughs> Bad action. Shut up. All right. There's a thing to your right where you can climb up. I know. You're just gonna knock. Bye, 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 bye. But they're sleeping. Kevin. Oh. Yes. yes. Oh, they were going to be my friends. Oh, I love killing children. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. You know, one of our lecturers today told me to kill my babies. Why? Well, she, she was uh, Helen JC. She was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, you got to kill your babies. <laughs> this is what we teach you on the MA. I'm you gotta kill it. Yeah, in your script, you got to kill your babies. I can, so, I, I am. Well, my, my story isn't really about that. <laughs> but I'll kill the babies if that's what it takes. Oh, Kevin, so good at dark All right, back to that stuff. Baxio. That's such a good word to say. Baction. I know, it just rolls off the tongue. No, because it, it explodes the first ba syllable. Baction! <laughs> oh. The, oh, the, no. the volume is going to spike like hell on this episode. Back! It's the jailer! Have we ever had like a subtitle name thing like that before? I, uh, I think we did. We had that general guy. In one of the early yeah. bits, but this is a proper boss. It's a boss. Yeah, I think it is. Because apparently we're in the jails. That's actually quite a cool. That's, that's quite a cool design, actually. That's I quite, like him. That's quite unique. I like him. <laughs> He's got spunk. Oh come on. Maybe come out of that view if you're not going to throw it, because you're not really keeping an eye it. on the big guy. Whoa! Oh, you watch. Quick, some... left trigger and and an X. You're gonna die. No, I'm not. Kevin, Kevin, you're gonna die. Kevin, Kevin. Have you watched Louie? No, I still haven't. You should. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> should. I will. Nah, it's, it's not, because I really want to talk about. Like, season three is the one where there's a bit more story elements. Like, for mostly it's just a bunch of sketches, but. And I, 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 I can't help but just really respect Louis C.K., because he's just. He's basically us. He's just basically a lazy asshole. Yeah. He just. There's you health behind him. you. Health behind you. No. What? You had no health. I thought, I thought I had like two bars. No, no. Those little bars are your pound the ground thing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I've got, okay. Yeah, I, uh, Louis C.K. is just basically like, he doesn't really get paid for doing a show. He's like, he gets like a 200 grand budget and you sort of thinking, all right, so that's like per episode. How much did I get paid? Because no, no, your pay comes in that. So he basically just gives it up just so he can do a show. That's awesome. He is... I'm, yeah, I know. And a lot of respect, I'm sort of like, I just, I, I don't like some aspects, but then after a bit, I'm sort of like, no, that's just me talking personally. That's like things I don't like about myself. Yeah, Louis yeah. CK is kind of awesome. He is. I, I don't know. Even if you don't like his comedy for some stupid reason. <laughs> he, I like what I've seen. I really haven't seen that much. I think uh, you should uh, see more. I think it's just at the moment, like, I'm going through some other comedy series and stuff, so I'm just kind of... Yeah, it's different, because there's not much story, there's not much, like, character growth. It's just that Louis C.K. is, like, he, he tells short stories, basically. There's, like, yeah. sometimes, even he admits, like, every short story almost acts like it's in his own universe. Because I saw an interview with him, and every so often there's a reoccurring character, but mainly it's just, like, he wants to, he, it, like, his mother appears in one episode, then she appears in another episode, and they're completely different. Right. But he just wants to tell a bunch of stories. He just wants to be funny. And there's some of the way, he, the way he goes about it, and just is sort of like, yeah, whatever, I'll do that again. Oh, I, can, I, can, I can totally respect. I, I, I can't wait for season four. And like, oh, because FX were sort of cool, guys. They're sort of like, we can give you a, a budget for 200 grand, or, but if we want to give you a budget for more, we sort of have to, like, we have to get in touch with Rupert Murdoch. We have to like let him know. Right. Because like that's a lot more money. He's sorry, that's fine, just give me two hundred grand, it's fine. 
so he could go away and he didn't have to tell them he didn't, he didn't have to show them scripts it's like he would come back with episodes and they'd be like whoa Ricky Gervais what, 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 what's yeah. he doing <laughs> because he, he appears as his doctor every so often and that because I just I wish I could work like that I just yeah yeah like always oh, in Philadelphia seem to have that sort of thing going for them as well it's so awesome dude yeah. what the fuck am I supposed to do here <laughs> well you're just kind of running away aren't you <laughs> there seems to be quite a lot of subsidiary enemies, enemies. just yeah kill that guy now uh, ground pound him maybe you go and get the help yeah okay <laughs> Punch it. I didn't give you much. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, uh, he's just raising more. All right, you're gonna have to focus on him. Um, is there a specific part of his body you can aim for with the um with the aim thing, or do you just keep slashing? Oh, hello. Yep, no, do that. Got you. Yeah, you knocked him down. Now while he's down, do the thing. How do you do it? Just hit him. Just keep hitting him. How do you do the ground pound? Oh, um, L1 and, and X. L L1! I'm sorry! L1! I'm sorry! You, you, you tell me in a pressure situation. He's got mad now. You've angered him. Oh, he's got mad for Yep. Oh, God. Throw it! Throw it into the fire! Ew, it went right through him. His why, big why, bulge. Didn't, why didn't Elron just kick the fuck out of a seagull? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Whoa, Kevin! You died. Oh, there we go. You can throw the control at me. Kevin! Alright, yeah, let's restart the last waypoint. Alright, the jailer. We know what we're doing now, but... Yeah, I'm... Louis, you should... Louis, I don't know... I always... Am I alone in the fact that it usually takes about seven episodes to get into a comedy series? No, absolutely. I, I think that for uh, Community, I think that for yeah. Flight of the Concords. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really? Because I... Like the Concours, I watched the first season of, and I just didn't get it. Should I, should I watch more? Um, I say, I say it does get good at the. I watched the whole first series. Right. Oh uh, well, um, if you're not getting it by now, then maybe it isn't for you, okay. I guess. Because the second series is just more the same. In fact, it, it's arguably weaker because with yeah. the first series, they'd already written the songs and they were building stories around them. Whereas with this yeah. series, they wrote uh, series two. They wrote the songs oh, okay. specifically. It's because it, uh, like Flight of the Concord is one of those things like I can so respect it. Like I can respect that they're just they're just doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's just not. I I, I really like their songs. Like I've heard, I've seen them play like on YouTube, like playing their songs, and they're really funny. Yeah. Get some help. Yeah. Um. I'll do the thing. But. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> you can do that any time when of you have them. No, not any time <laughs> when you have them. Yeah. Of course. Um. But, I've I've well you know I've seen them live and they yeah. are. And they, they seem really cool. I, just, I totally respect them. Uh, I love the music for the Muppets, but <laughs> <laughs> and that because Brett McKenzie was like, yeah, that was yeah, yeah. But well, you know, show, he, Jermaine was, was in Men in Black Three. <laughs> all right, but the show was sort of like, oh, I just didn't get it. It's been like two years since I watched the first season. I gave it a go. Well, it's been quite a while since any of it like kind of aired, I guess. Is the very final episode like they go back to New Zealand? Yeah, and pretty it's much. A, a cartoon world. Cartoon world? Is it a cartoon world? No, no, they, they, in the last episode, they do a musical, and uh, the musical is about their lives, but it, oh, fuck. Um, it draws attention to the fact that they're, uh, they're actually illegal immigrants, and they get deported back to New Zealand at the end, so uh, there's, like, no progression in the story whatsoever. It's quite so funny. I, I, okay, well, we'll end that episode. Yeah, all right, fly the Concord.